The transfer component allows you to specify a game object's position, rotation, and scale. We've looked at how to position objects. Something that was missing that needed to be mentioned was that the unit of our positioning is called a unity unit, and it's equivalent to one meter when it comes to physics calculations or virtual reality. So assume for all matters that one unity unit is one meter. What we'll do in this lecture is look at rotation, the second of these transform properties here. So what I'm going to do is select my, my cube and click on the rotation button here. That will activate the rotation gizmo. Remember that a gizmo is simply a tool, a widget that appears in your Unity editor and that you can use to modify different things in your game. So in this case, I see the rotation gizmo here. And what I can do is drag any of these lines to produce a rotation about a particular axis. For example, if I want to rotate this cube about the Z axis, the blue axis, I what I've done is uh, selected the blue line, which turns then yellow when selected, and I can rotate my cube in this manner. You can see in the transform component how the value for Z for rotation changes. You can do the same thing with your other axis, with X and with Y. And um, what I want to mention is that this rotation here, these values are in Euler angles. Now, what are Euler angles? Let's take a look at this concept of angles. An angle can be formed by joining two segments by a vertex like this. The separation of these two segments can be described in degrees. So it's a measurement unit where if you have one segment like this, and this is the vertex that joins it to the other vertex, you can describe all the way to 160 degrees in this manner. For example, if the other segment is here, that is called a 90 degree angle, and that is, uh, that is called a right angle. If, for instance, you have something like this, that, that is 180 degrees, that is called a straight angle. So these are all useful uh, math concepts that you need to know when working with Unity and Transforms. Now, how does this actually relate to rotation? Because so far what we're describing is just simply the separation between two different segments. Well, Leonhard Euler came up with the concept of Euler angles to describe the rotation of an object in 3D by giving the rotation in angles of all three axes so that you can have a rotation in in Y, for example. So you could rotate your cube like that. That would be a rotation on Y or about Y. It's a correct way to say it as well. You could have a rotation about X like this and a rotation about Z or Z like this. And Unity provides us exactly with those tools. Now, how do you know when the rotation is positive or negative? Because in this case, we are sort of going that way. But what if we want to go the other way? Well, because of Unity's left-handed coordinate system, that can be easily determined by using your left hand. So with your left hand, point your thumb towards the direction of the axis, towards the positive direction of the axis, and then simply close your fingers like shown in the figure. That will give you a positive rotation. So if you have, let's say, some sort of game object, like some sort of I don't know, some sort of car or something, and you want to rotate it about this Y axis, the positive way of rotating, if you specify a rotation in a positive number, it will go this way. And if you specify a rotation in a negative number, it will go this way. So now if we go back to Unity, we can easily see this in action. So I'm gonna reset the rotation here, set it back to zero. And, and I'm going to click outside and click on it again. And you can see, for example, that the, the Y axis has its green um, rotate, rotation handle here. And if I rotate it in this positive way that I was describing before, imagine that your thumb points up, points up here in your left hand, see how the number is positive. And if you, on the other hand, rotate it the other way, that is negative. So that is um, how you can rotate elements. 
something else I wanted to show you in this lesson is how we can move our object considering the rotation that was applied to it. Let me explain it in a more clear way. You can see here we have a cube that doesn't have any rotation applied to it. It has zero in rotation x, y, and z. The blue axis, the z axis, as you can see, matches this face of the cube. So I can, I can move it along that face. But once I rotate my cube, so if I apply a rotation, and if I unselect it and want to move it again, you, you can see that the blue axis no longer matches that face. It, because it still matches the global coordinates. However, if you click here where it says global, it will toggle into local. So it will go from global to local. And what that does, what, what local does, it allows you to move then with the, with the movement tool, your game object in the, up, um, in the local coordinate system, which was modified by the rotation. So we can now then move it along this axis here or move it this way, even though that doesn't match the X and Z values of our scene. Now, the best way to really get a good grasp of rotation and the in the editor, either by moving things around and also to uh, by adjusting numbers here manually, which you can do as well, is to actually go for a little challenge. So I prepared a challenge for you, which consists on starting with something like that and putting together that simple bridge. So that will combine a few of the things we've covered because you'll be rotating things, but you will also be uh, moving things around. I will show you then the solution of the challenge. So have a try and if you are not able to solve it, that's fine because we're going to cover it step by step. Now, a couple of things. Don't try to make it exact and precise as in the bridge doesn't need to be in the exact half of this area. And also this distance here doesn't have to be the same as the distance there. When it comes to the platforms, I've given them a 45 degree inclination so that you know, but you can try with a different, different numbers as well. So have a try and then come back for the solution. But before you do that, actually a quick tip. If you have multiple game objects in your scene, you can easily select many of them at the same time by pressing Control or Command in the Mac and then clicking on them. So you can select many of them. And then once you've done that, you can, you can move them all at once. So keep that in mind. Now, have a try the challenge and come back for the solution. All right, so you had a try and hopefully you were able to put this together, but if you didn't, that's fine. At least you had some fun, you had a try and you're getting better and better at using the Unity editor. So let's go for the solution. So I'm gonna find that folder. I'm gonna select the file and everything is loaded for us to start solving this challenge. So I wanna mention that there is not a single way of solving the challenge, it's really up to you and don't worry too much about particular details. Um, just try and see what works best. So I'm going to start by rotating this about the Y axis in 90 degrees so that the bridge is in the correct orientation. So I'm going to drag it a bit here and I'm going to look from above just to make sure that the elements are kind of in the right, in the right positioning. Whoops. And what I'm going to do now is rotate the stair the stairs to the bridge so this one for example i what i want to do is rotate it about the the z axis and i want to rotate it in a positive way so that so that it looks that up so i'm gonna i'm using literally using my left hand <laughs> to try to show you how to do it so that's uh that's 45 degrees positive and with this one if you also use your left hand uh, you realize that you need to to do a negative rotation, I'm going to do it. It needs to be done in Z, so minus 45 as well. Now let's let's join these things. Let's uh, put them together by using vertex select, type V, and then pick the ver this vertex there. And yep, it needs to snap in the right lo location. Whenever you have that that stuff that you just saw, just press F, and that will bring the the elements to focus. Okay, so that seems good to me. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other part. So I'm going to grab that, type V, 
grab that top vertex and make sure it's in the right one. I don't think it is. Um, yeah, it seems like it's fine. Now grab all of them, select them, press press Control or Command so that we're selecting all of them. You can also select them from here, so you can go like that. And now we just need to bring it down to the floor. And it doesn't need to be a precise, it can just be something like that.